make and sell math doku books on Amazon KDP. I got a brand new piece of software. I might pause by the way. I got a brand new piece of software called Brain Game Prints that does all the heavy lifting for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how it works and I'm gonna show you how to get it. There are so many different types of keywords that relate to Kalkdoku, aka Math Doku, aka Brain Teasers, aka Math Sudoku, and so forth. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, you can see all these different options. Don't worry, you're not gonna use you're not gonna use most of the, most of these options. First thing you want to check out is the grid size. Okay, the grid size. Uh, the larger the grid, the the more complex it is. So. If we want to create a, for example, a kid's game, a kid's brain teaser type of puzzle book, you want to keep it six by six and so forth. 15 by 15 is for more advanced users, maybe adults. Okay, so let's let's make a kid's book. Six by six, okay. Again, if you're a pro user, you have all these options. If you're a standard user, you have addition and addition subtraction, okay. So I'm going to keep it at addition only, okay. And don't worry about this for right now. Uh, what number do you want the Latin square to start at? The higher this number is, the more complex it is. So let's keep it at one, really important. How many puzzles do you want to generate? Between 50 or 60, okay? Don't, don't create too many puzzles, okay? You don't want to send a Bible in the mail. That's going to upset your end user. Um, they might think it's a good idea when they buy it on Amazon, but when they get it um, into their house and the, the bind is really uh, tight, and they really can't turn the page easily, um, they're gonna be upset. So I recommend keep it around 50 or 60, okay? I'm gonna keep it at 50 for this one. Okay, so I'm creating an easy book so far. Okay, so um, the PDFs, the file options here, okay? There's PNG, JPEG, and SVG. These are good uh, options, PNG of course, for uh, if you plan on creating your book on Canva, for example. You can upload your images and stylize it any way you want there. But I like things nice and easy. I'm gonna keep it at PDF. I want things to be PDF. Okay, so uh, I want to hear very important, show title, okay? And I'm gonna name this Kids Logic, uh, Kids Logic Puzzle. And I'm gonna name this, the solution title, just Solutions, okay? So this, this will create the solutions in the back of the book. Very simple, okay? So we have PDF. We have the name, the title, okay? After the title, you can have the number, the page number. Same thing with solutions, okay? So, because this is a kid's book, I wanna make sure that there's just one, one puzzle per page. You can, of course, you can increase that, okay? But you wanna keep it things nice, simple for your, for your uh, target audience. But for, loop, but for solutions, I do wanna save on paper. So I'm gonna go with four solutions per page, okay? And here, on this preview section here, we can change the font, we can change the color, okay? If you're selling a printables, you definitely wanna change the color depending on your target audience, okay? You have advanced features here, but I'm gonna keep it at basic, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna be creating a book, so I want everything to be black and white. So I'm gonna update to show you the preview, okay? And it's gonna show up right here. And if I click on that, you can see that this is a preview. This is what, the puzzle is going to be uh, one puzzle per page, okay? And this is the solution section. The solution section towards the back of the book is going to have all the solutions, page, you know, you can have the page numbers so that it corresponds to the problem towards the front and the solution towards the back. Nice, beautiful, and perfectly configured for an 8.5 by 11 inch puzzle book, right? So we have the page size here. Now the beauty here is we can, we can create all types of puzzle books mini size puzzle books to your standard 8.5 by 11. I recommend 8.5 by 11. That's the that's the go-to not only for books, but also for printables because that's US standard size letter size, right? That's a, that's a standard white, white sheet of paper, 8.5 by 11, okay? So we wanna keep it at that, very good. So now that we have everything done, okay? Again, it takes less than 10 seconds to create a book because you're gonna click generate, uh, Oh, sorry, we have to choose where we, where we want to save our book. So click Save As, I'm sorry. And um, let's let's call it Kids Logic. Kids Logic. Okay, let's Kids Logic, let's call it Kids Logic 2. So I already created a Kids Logic book. I'm gonna click Save, then click Generate. 
and it's going to generate my uh, my puzzle book okay okay once it's done you want to go to where you um, where you created your book so I'm gonna go to downloads that's where I keep most of my uh, downloads and we have kids logic 2 and you can see we have an interior we have a kids logic puzzle book we have the kids logic um, puzzles and at towards the end of the bottom of this uh, towards, towards the end of this PDF we have our solutions page we save on paper at the same time the end user can get the answers to his or her questions here based off the uh, very easy kids logic puzzle book um, math doku problems they have to solve okay now that you have all the details and I showed you how it works make sure you check out the link below and get access okay uh, see you inside be good